Hi, I'm Jen, and I'm a product quality engineer at Palantir. Uh, my name is Helen, and I'm an intern at Palantir. I'm Elizabeth Cottle, I'm a board deployed engineer at Palantir Technologies. Well, I guess on a very high level, we take large amounts of data from all different sources, and we bring all that data and integrate it into one platform, one place, and we put it into a very intuitive user interface so that the end user can go in there and ask the questions that they need to ask uh, from their data. Um, and from there, they can get the answers they need and basically be able to do their job much faster and much better. Computers are really good at solving certain uh, types of number crunching problems. They're really good at algorithms and at processing large amounts of data, whereas humans are really good at having intuition and asking the right questions about it. So the goal um, of Palantir is to try to connect those two sides of the problem, to allow humans who have expertise in an area but who may not be computer scientists or know how to program, um, to connect easily with a computer that can do all of that number crunching in the background to ask the kinds of questions that they want to be able to ask. The entire group there has a varied range of backgrounds. There are ones who are, you know, they're looking at the code a lot and they're making sure from the back end that everything works correctly. And there are also folks um, that are purely looking at everything from the UI side. And what I do is a little bit of both. So I'm um, definitely putting on the user hat to make sure from the UI as a user, what am I going to do? How am I going to use this? Um, does this make sense to me? Um, you know, uh, you know, can I do what I need to do and try everything from the UI side? And at the same time, I'm also looking at some of the code and some of the back end to make sure, hey, okay, so this is how it's being built. If I see an error here, I can dig a little bit more and to figure out, okay, what really could be the problem? So one of the big problems that we work on is how to identify and contain a disease outbreak. Um, so for example, foodborne illness is estimated to affect one in six Americans annually, but only one in 30 people actually goes to seek treatment. So this makes it really difficult for people in public health to identify and stop an outbreak um, as quickly as possible. So in our work with the Centers for Disease Control, or the CDC, um, as well as some other public health agencies, we've been working to help them um, try to integrate all of the data that they collect to allow their epidemiologists to very quickly identify the source of an outbreak to stop the distribution of contaminated food um, and to get treatment as quickly as possible. I am working on uh, Code 33, which is the web version of the Palantir app. And it's really cool uh, that we're using a lot of the newer technologies. We get to work with HTML5, we get to work with CoffeeScript, and uh, a lot of interesting web technologies that are very new. I wouldn't say that I really have a typical day here. Um, on any given day, I might do things as different as going to a customer um, where they work on site and sitting behind them as they go through their day-to-day -day workflows and asking what are the kinds of questions that they're trying to get at and what are the difficulties that they're having in trying to ask those questions. On another day, I might actually take some of their data and load it into the Palantir platform to try to get a sense of what kinds of tools we might want to build, um, how their workflows might translate to the platform. And then the third kind of day would be actually developing those tools, sitting down and writing a new application um, for the platform to be able to analyze their data. We have a great culture so that a lot of times I feel like when I'm here, I feel like I'm with family, I feel like I'm with my friends. Um, you know, I have my dog around. Um, it, this, it's a very, very flat organization so that um, it doesn't matter who you are. You can be an intern, you can have just started, or you could have been here for years, And but it doesn't matter. The best idea wins. So you know that if you have an idea and you can suggest it, you can bring it up. If you have a question, you can ask a question. If you see something that needs to be done, you can just go and do it. I think science and technology have the most interesting questions out there. They're the most exciting fields in terms of solving big, important problems. And focusing on answering those questions and on solving those problems takes a lot of the fear away. Um, it helps you to focus less on this is a really difficult field to be in and more in these are really interesting questions that I really want to be able to work on. Be curious. Be curious about everything. Um, ask questions. Challenge yourself. Um, get inspired. There are so many, uh, I guess, you know, so many professions within, you know, so many careers and professions within technology. You could be, you know, testing product. You can be, you know, uh, you know, marketing it. You can be, you know, telling people how great it is. Uh, you can, you know, you can be the one developing and coding it. It's not necessary that you have the exact knowledge of the language before you actually start a job. Um, typically, um, 
for interviews, they let you choose whatever language that you want to program in um, to ask you questions. And it's definitely not necessary for you to know exactly everything before you start working. No matter what you're doing, um, that's something that's always important, right? That you always need to be learning and learning something new and feeling challenged. And because once you get to a point where you feel like you're not learning, you're not you know, feeling challenged, you're not contributing, then you know you need to start you know, thinking about doing something else. It's definitely scary to join things in the first place. It doesn't really matter what field it is. Um, having I don't think computer science is somewhere that girls can't be. It's the same as any other field. Um, having more girls just join in will make sure that people aren't as scared. Uh, at the very beginning, you might feel a little scared if you're like the first, you're the only few in your class, for example, but it doesn't really make a difference. It makes you more special.